All right, welcome to Rock Cake and Rudimexes. <laughs> Power Gamers Guide to, to Minecraft. Minecraft, episode three. Yeah. Uh, today, we are going to take you through the construction of a monster generator. Yeah, we uh, we felt that we have not uh, been advancing fast enough, so we need to start mining with uh, TNT. And Absolutely. in order to do that, we need gunpowder, and hunting creepers takes a long time. Oh, hey, look. See how the uh, grass is growing down here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's taking its time. It is taking its time, but uh, getting monster or uh, creatures like you can harvest spawning all over your base is always a good thing. Yeah, so, pigs and cows and things. Yeah, so while we were uh, building the uh the monster generator and this is the killing area right here uh i'm going to be putting a couple of cactuses here and go looking for them in a little bit can't put two cactuses next to each other well okay that'll be putting one cactus here yeah and uh we will be so the trick with the lava is you gotta um, you get it so it flows to its maximum distance and then you place um a ladder over it. Right there. It needs to be back one more. What, this? So the lava is flowing over top of it. It will flow safely under the water. And... When you're using your cactuses, make sure you know exactly where you're putting them as well, because if they can hit the items, they can actually destroy items that you would uh, normally get from monsters. Uh, the first monster generator that I built, I I have a, uh, a cactus right here and a glass wall, and then that was what was killing uh, the spiders, but it was also eating up some of my gunpowder and other resources that I wanted to actually get from it. It's still so, daytime? Yeah, it's still daytime. I'll probably so go gonna... up there and check out uh, the trenches. Yeah, probably a good idea. So, the idea behind a uh, monster generator like this is to get a large area of enclosed uh, darkness. And it actually probably is best, I think, to build it on the surface like this, because you can guarantee that you're not going to have anything above you. Yeah, it's full of sand, so that was really easy to dig out. We, we did this all legitimately with diamond shovels, so it took a little while, but it was sand, so it didn't take that long. Yeah, and if you look over here, um, you can see that I've, I've taken to uh, lighting the area around it, and so, I mean, the more area that you can light around it, the more you're going to concentrate the monsters that are going to be spawning in here. Now, yeah, at least that's the theory. I mean, if you if there aren't monsters spawning in the like area above or below or around, then they will tend to spawn in the one dark area, which will be this like enclosure. Yeah. Now, each of these here, actually, I am going to uh, show you, rather than just tell you. Each of these is seven long, and the eighth one allows for the drop to continue. Now these channels are actually going to catch the monsters that are wandering around, and they're going to fall into the water. Yeah, when water, when it advances seven squares, you can reset the advance by dropping it down a level. And it'll drop into this channel right here. Yeah, the monsters just sort of walk around randomly and they drop into the water and then fall into that water and it takes them directly to the lava which kills them. No human intervention required, you can just stand there and collect items. Great. Now, let's watch this. Let's get rushing down. It's a little dark, we're trying not to put any torches in here. Yeah. Just so we don't have to collect them afterwards. Yeah, and there it goes, all the way down. going to pop 
fun up here. All right. Ooh, hey, monsters. Yes, I still have to light this side over here. Probably that island over there, but... Uh, Doing the roof out of um, hell brick and dirt. Um, the hell brick, it, it burns forever, as was demonstrated in the last video. Um, it works like a torch, it prevents spawning on top of the spawn on the, the generator, and anything that does happen to get on there will be killed by it, because there's fire everywhere, obviously. Alright, so, as you can see, I've finished the roof of the monster generator. Yep, it's burning nicely. Yep. And... You missed a block there. What do you mean? This one, it's not perfectly flat. Well, I know. I just stuck that one there because I needed something burning there. Uh-huh. Burninating the countryside. All right, now we're going to go and get that cactus. And uh, Yeah, we need the cactus. Kill the uh, the spiders. They yeah. they they have the flat so they don't get killed by the uh the lava. Yeah, they just slide right underneath it. But if you build your uh killing machine with that in mind, everything should be good. There's a desert biome over here. Yep. Find a lot of cactuses in the desert. They're a lot more common now. It used yeah. to be you'd have to look along the coast for a cactus, but now that there's deserts you see them a lot more often. Yeah, there's one right there. I'm gonna go get that one. Unless I see another one first, because you really only need one, they multiply so fast. Yeah, a cactus is really the easiest thing to farm. There we go. Alright. Come here, little cactus. Yeah, if you plant a cactus on on a sand block in a very short period of time, it will grow into three cactus blocks. And then you can just cut it down and plant another one, and they multiply by three every time. You can quickly get a lot of cactus. Don't do that. Oh, I'm not going to burn everything down. Well, I mean, I guess you could just... Oh, Jesus. Ha-ha. It's going to make it all the way back to our base. It's going to destroy all the trees in this whole area. No, it's not. It's just going to burn up those ones. I checked. See? Ha-ha! Vindication. You will see. <laughs> it's getting dark. It's really good time. Yeah, I just wanted to grab a little bit of wood because now that the monster generator is finished, we're going to need a lot of chests. Yeah. But once we get another full stack of, uh, like, silk or whatever, we should just start throwing the rest of it into the fire. <laughs> And actually, you see this huge conglomeration of trees right over here? Well, that is our tree fort that we've been building. Oh yeah, that's fun to do. You can actually make a tree grow on top of a tree if you take a dirt square up there and just plant the sapling on a tree. Like, you can place dirt on top of leaves, and then you just keep building it up and up, and you can quickly make a very large tower. Alright. That's all burning nicely. Like this farm was just one plot to start off with, and then after like two generations it became what you see now. The thing is you have a random chance of getting two seeds back from every plant that you crop, that you um, harvest. So it just it gets out of hand very quickly. The way we have it designed here, there's um, there's water underneath those half blocks so that it fertilizes all the land around it, but you don't have to have it in the way. Yeah, I mean, you, 
can build farms almost anywhere. Rudibex, he's, uh, he's built farms right down at the bottom of the, uh, Yeah, the it's, floor. it's a fun challenge to build it down at the bottom. But it doesn't really make any difference where you build it. I just built it here because there was already a pond there, so I could just throw dirt into it and make a farm. Now, hopefully you guys can see this. This is what we got out of just one harvest. So... Yeah, it takes three wheat to make a bread, and a bread will restore three hearts. It's not very... like, you can only hold one bread in an inventory square, so it's not a very good, like, portable source of of health, but if you come back to your base, then you can basically restore all your health with bread. Is, I think, the mechanic that they were going for. You know, you can plant faster if you just hold it down. Like that. <laughs> Planting takes, like, no time at all. Yeah, and you'll see that once I've planted every single square here, you'll have surplus of seeds. Yeah, I'll, I'll still have tons of seeds. Yeah, if you're gonna do a farm, you don't you don't necessarily have to. You can kill pigs for meat, and that's pretty good. But if you're gonna do one, do it early, because it really it grows very quickly and it pays off in the long term. Oh yeah, I mean, as you can see, we've. Uh, We've got enough wheat just from one harvest to make ourselves bread that would la like, you know, heal us many times over. Yeah, and it grows while you're not there. It's, it's basically producing it while you're not doing anything. Yeah. Anything that just generates resources for basically free is pretty handy. Now, yeah. Just so you can see, that's how many seeds we have left over, so we could plant the entire fields again. Oh wow, we're gonna have to expand it. Yeah, we'll have to, uh, to do that. There's a cave over there. It's gonna be a little more difficult. Gotta build it into a cave or something. Well, that cave is pretty far down, so... No, it's right on the other side of the wall. Well, yeah, no, but I meant it goes pretty far down, and then there's a, uh, an, a car an area down there. So, I mean, as you can see, uh, we've been growing grass all the way down. Yeah, this is kind of going to be an animal farm, I guess. Here's the generator. Is that any booty? All right. Oh, yeah. The head booty. Oh, we even managed to kill a spider without uh, the cactus in. Huh. There we go. That's good. Oh, sounds like someone's coming. Yep. Yep, they you can hear him dying. That was a skeleton. They just come along the stream and die, and then you can just... You can just stand there and literally leave it running overnight, and you would come back to an inventory full of items. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, there's the uh, arrows that were just taken. And uh, if I wait right here... Yeah, they came right to me. So, I mean, yeah, you can leave it uh, running overnight if you want to generate a lot of TNT. We're probably going to do that tonight. Yeah, we have a lot of excess sand to make the uh, the TNT with. Yeah. Alright, so now that we've got that in there. And uh, what's really neat is the cactus itself will grow and self-prune itself. So if you're standing down there, you'll end up with, you know, overnight maybe like 18 to 20... Uh, cactus blocks. Well, it doesn't take a long time to harvest cactuses, but I, I guess it 